Hi, I'm Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at question 2a part 3 for the 2017 exam on level 2 probability. So here is our question. So I've got the tree diagram there. If you're not sure how that works, um, watch the video for 2a part 1 where I explain how to create the um, tree diagram. So the questions talks about the probability that a randomly selected lamb survives until it is weaned. So what's the chance that a randomly selected lamb that survives will be from a ewe that produced a single lamb. Okay. So the first thing I need to think about is we're just talking about the lambs that survive. Now in this tree diagram not all of the lambs survive, some of them don't. So I need to first of all work out what is the probability that a lamb will survive. Okay, that's my first step. So let's look at the different combinations that we've got there and think which ones of those combinations meet the criteria of a lamb surviving and um, at all. So the first one, single surviving, yes. Single not surviving, no. Then the next one, twins where two survive, yes. Twins where one survives, yes. Twins where neither survives, no. So I'm going to look at those three combinations. So I'm going to add those together to find my total. So the probability could be a single lamb surviving or a twin where two survive or a twin where one survives. So I'm going to have 0.559 plus 0.14 plus 0.14 and that gives us a probability of 0 0.979. Okay, so that's my first part. Now I would need to look at the question, go back to the question wording again. It talks about a randomly selected lamb that survives. So I've got that, that's my condition. I know that a lamb has survived. What is the chance that it'll be from a ewe that produced a single lamb? So from those combinations, the three green ticks, we want to look and see which one of the, which one of those or ones of those meet this criteria of a single lamb. And that's going to be this first one here. So my probability of being a single lamb given that we know that the lamb has survived is 0 0.559 divided by the survival which is 0 0.979 and that will give us a probability of 0 0.571. So if you get to that answer there, then that gets you through to the excellence of T, as you can see there. Thanks for watching. Feel free to see my website for more videos and resources. Subscribe to the channel below um, and also there's the playlist of videos for more videos in this exam.